Assertion functions are pretty useful when they're applied to classes. And there's some cool stuff you can do. Here we've got an SDK, which is kind of like, if you imagine the back end sort of center point where you, you know, invoke this and you've got all your methods and stuff. And here we've got a logged in user ID. And this can either be string or it can be undefined. When it's undefined, it means the user isn't logged in. And so there might be still anonymous things they can do. But inside create post, we want to assert that the user is logged in. And there we're going to use the user ID. But the issue here is that we've got string or undefined in this position, which is not good because actually we need string. And really, we've asserted that the uh, logged in user ID exists. So we should just be able to you know, get this going. But we haven't told TypeScript that this is defined. If we were to move this stuff inside here, then it would work. But how do we get this um, kind of inference working? Well, we can return asserts this is this and. So we're saying this is an assertion function now. And we're, we're saying that this is this and something else. And we can add logged in user ID string. And what this does is it basically just adds an intersection to the class and matches them both together. And this one wins. So we get the string inside the SDK. And now this is typed a string. We could probably do even something more in here. We could say wow, which is a Boolean. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to go this dot wow, which is a Boolean. So assertion functions are pretty useful. We do need to make sure that you check everything there. Um, like this wow Boolean is technically unsafe. But it does give you a lot of flexibility and it means you can use it in a lot more of a reusable way.